Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn chapter 14, Thermodynamic. In this video, we are going to discuss 14.2 Thermodynamic Process. Exercise 2. A quantity of ideal gas has a temperature of 300 Kelvin and the volume is 64 exponent negative 3 and the pressure is 243 kilopascal. It is made to undergo the following three changes in the order. Okay, so step one is adiabatic. Okay, so first one, what should we write is the first step. Uh, when initially the temperature is 300 Kelvin, volume one is 64, exponent negative three, and the pressure one is 243 kilo, okay, kilo pascal. Okay, after that, the first one, it will experience adiabatic compression. Okay, so it will experience adiabatic. Okay, meaning that Q is equal to zero and it is compression. Okay, meaning that the volume will reduce. Okay, so our V2 will reduce to 27 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube. Okay, okay, next. It will experience the isothermal expansion. Okay. Isothermal expansion, okay. Isothermal expansion meaning that the volume is increasing and the change of the temperature is equal to zero or the internal energy also equals to zero. So it will go back to the volume V3 equals to 64 exponent negative 3 meter cube. Okay, and state 3 is it to return to its original state. Okay, so meaning that after that it will go back to the initial state. Questions 1a. Describe the process of tree. Okay, so this is the first process. The second process. Huh? Process of tree is from uh, V3 go back to V1. Okay, return to its original state. So since the volume for V3 is 64 and V1 also 64, exponent negative 3 meter cube, meaning that it is actually an isovolumetric huh? because the volume is remain unchanged. Okay, or you can write isochloric. Okay, next 1B. Label and sketch uh, the graph of the pressure against the volume for the changes described. Okay, so here we have a three process. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so I will sketch first uh, pressure against the volume. Okay, where here I label it as pressure in a kilo pascal, and the volume here is exponent negative three meter cube. Okay, so initially for the first step, uh, first step here is uh, T1. Okay, where T1 is 300 Kelvin and the volume at that moment is 64 exponent negative 3 and at that moment the pressure okay at point the first one is 243 kilo pascal okay after that you will experience adiabatic compression so adiabatic adiabatic meaning that q is equal to zero okay so our q equals to work done plus change of the internal energy so since adiabatic there's no heat flow into or up from the system therefore our internal energy will equal to negative work done okay so since the question say compression when compression meaning that v is reducing the volume is reducing and our work done will get negative okay so since work done is negative our internal energy will be positive okay so when internal energy positive meaning that the temperature is positive or the temperature is increasing okay so when the temperature is increasing this is T2, okay, meaning that from, from state 1, it will go to state 2, okay, where the temperature is increasing uh, from T1 to T2, uh, where T2 is greater than T1, okay, but we don't know what is the value, okay. So at that time, the volume is compressed to 27 exponent negative 3 meter cube, okay. So it's actually from 64 compressed to 27. So this is the first process, adiabatic. Okay, next, it will experience isothermal. Isothermal meaning that the temperature is still constant. So it's still at T2. Okay, and the volume, it will expand it into 64. Okay, so 64. So it will expand it until 64. Okay, so this is state 3. Okay, after that, from V3, it will go back isovolumetric, go back to the initial state. Okay, so isovolumetric meaning that the volume is constant. So you will go back to state 1. Okay, so the whole process here is actually from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 go back to 1. So this is the whole process. Eh? Okay, next we go to questions number 2. Questions number 2. 
sketch a pyramid diagram of the following process. Uh, initially, it's two liter of ideal gas at the atmospheric pressure, meaning that our pressure is equal to one atm. A cold at constant pressure, okay. Cold at a constant pressure, meaning it's isobaric to the volume of one liter. Okay, so we can write first. P one is one atm. Volume initially is two liter. Okay, uh, temperature we don't know. Okay, after that, the question mentioned constant pressure. So, meaning it, that is isobaric, uh, where change of the pressure is equal to zero. Okay, and the volume become 1 liter. Okay, so when the question said isobaric, meaning that P2 also equals to 1 atm uh, because P is constant. Okay, and the temperature 2, we don't know. Okay, continue. And then expand, uh, expand meaning that the volume increase isothermal into 2 liter. Okay. So the next process is isothermal where there's no changing of the temperature therefore there's no changing of the internal energy yeah, because internal energy is directly proportional to the temperature okay and that moment the question mentioned is expand huh? meaning that the volume is increasing to V3 where you go back to 2 liter okay and the temperature 3 because it's isothermal so therefore it will equal to D2 okay continue Whereupon the pressure is increased at a constant volume, okay, until the original pressure is reached. Okay, so the next state is actually constant volume. Huh? So it's experience isovolume metric. Okay, meaning that V is equal to zero. There's no changing of the volume. Okay, therefore, work done also will equal to zero huh? because work done is depends on the volume. Okay, so it will go back to the constant volume. So our V4 will equal to 2 liter and the pressure will go back to the original pressure. So P4 will equal to 1 atm. Okay, so these are the process. So we need to sketch, huh? we need to sketch one by one. Okay, so we try to sketch the graph P in atm and the volume in liter. Okay, so this is the temperature. Okay, initially, okay, initially uh, when T is 1 atm, volume is 2 liter. Okay, so for example, let's say this is uh, 2 liter and at that moment, the pressure is 1 atm. Okay, uh, so this is the first stage. Okay, after that, it will undergo isobaric. Isobaric meaning that the pressure is constant and the volume at that moment is 1 liter. Okay, so... This is the second process huh, where it's experienced isobaric. Okay, P constant and the volume at that moment is 1 liter. Okay, step 3, isothermal. Okay, isothermal and isothermal and the volume increased to 2 liter. Okay, isothermal meaning that it will still at T1. Huh? Okay, along this line. So if along this line it will go down to the volume equals to 2 liter okay so this is state 2 this is state 3 okay after that it will experience isovolumetric and the pressure equals to 1 atm volume is equals to 2 liter okay so meaning that it will go back to the original state okay so from 1 experience isobaric after that from 2 experience isothermal and from 3 it experience volume isovolumetric okay so this is the whole process for questions number 2 Okay, next we go to questions number three. Questions number three. A one liter volume of air initially is 3.5 atm of pressure is allowed to expand isothermally until the pressure is 1 atm. Okay, so we write down first all the information that we have. Where V1 is equal to one liter, initially pressure is 3.5 atm. Okay, after that, it expands. Uh, expand meaning that the volume is increasing. Isothermal. Okay, again, isothermal meaning that there's no changing of the temperature. And therefore, our internal energy will equal to zero. Okay, and until the pressure, okay, P2 is equal to 1 atm. Okay, and T2 will equal to T1 uh, because of the word isothermal. Okay, so V2, we don't know. Okay, after that, it is then compressed at constant pressure. Constant pressure meaning that it's isobaric to the initial volume. Okay, so the third process is 
I saw Barrick where there's no changing of the pressure or P constant and at that time our V3 go back to the initial volume one meaning is equal to one liter and our pressure three is equal to pressure two meaning that's one atm okay and the temperature three we don't know okay and lastly brought back okay back to its original pressure by heating at constant volume okay so the next stage is actually iso volume metric okay where there's no changing of the volume okay and the pressure the question say go back to the original pressure so p4 is 3.5 atm okay and the volume because it's iso volumetric so v4 will go back to v3 yeah? because it's constant so it's one liter okay and the temperature we don't know okay so now we want to uh, draw the process on pv diagram okay including numberings and label for the exit Okay, so I will try to sketch the graph P versus V. Okay, so I will label P in ATM because here we are using ATM and the volume is in liter. Okay, so this is the temperature. Okay, the line for the temperature. So the first one is uh, the pressure is 3.5 and the volume is 1 liter. Okay, so let's say I start from here. This is the point where the pressure is equal to 3.5 atm okay so this is one and at that moment the volume is one liter okay after that you will experience isothermal okay so let's say this is t1 so isothermal meaning that our process is still in t1 okay it's expansion until pressure at that moment okay equals to 1 atm Okay, so pressure at that time is equal to 1 atm and the volume is V2. Okay, so actually we can, uh, okay, we, this one we label as 2. So actually we can find V2 uh, because we know that uh, isothermal. Okay, so when isothermal, there's no changing of the temperature. Okay, so actually we can use Boyce law. Okay, where P1, V1 equals to P2, V2 to find V2. Okay, so maybe we can substitute P1 is 3.5 atm, V1 is 1 liter, P2 is 1 atm and we can find V2. Okay, where V2, we will get 3.5 liter. Okay, so here we can label V2 is 3.5 liter. Okay, okay, next, the second process is isobaric. Okay, so isobaric meaning that the pressure is constant. Okay, so pressure is constant, 1 atm, and at that moment, volume is 1 liter. Okay, so this is the second process huh, from 2 to 3. Okay, meaning that our volume is 1 liter and the pressure is 1 atm. And finally, isovolumetric, so it will go back to 1 liter and the pressure of 3.5 atm. Okay. So the whole process is 1 to 2 isothermal, 2 to 3 isobaric, 3 to 1 isochlorine. Okay, so this is all the process. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Okay, so please watch on the next video for 14.3 thermodynamic work. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.